going on. <laughs> See what? You seen that? This is your testimony. Plus, don't ask you three questions and see what you would do in these situations. Which, with your power. <laughs> okay? Like, anyways, what would you do if you saw um, a demon, a different occasion, and then you saw an angel on a different occasion? Well, a bunch of angels, but one of them wanted to offer you something, which was a ball of light. What would you do if a, if a, if a, if a, if a, if a blonde haired, blue eyed, with wings, guy angel that was around four girl angels? On one side of him and two girl angels on the other and then there was an Indian spirit over there but the point is the but I think it went over. yeah and and, and, and and these angels were around this black haired girl who's a Libra and she was dressed in pajamas but but I told her and asked her what is that ball like what are they she says I accept those gifts all the time you should take it I'm like no if you would do that all the time you take it bitch let's see what happens <laughs> and then I did it did happen she the ball light went into her mouth, a little of her eyes, and her higher self. So she dressed in riches like jewels and jade and stuff. And I like jade, blah, blah, blah. But, but I like how the girls, like, you know, the most whatever. So I can't imagine all this stuff. It's not imagining, it's something that's happening with me in my mind and my experience. And I'm not just seeing it because I'm assertively paying attention to it, I suppose. And I'm like, damn, ready to fucking listen and talk, okay? Because it wants to talk. And whoever is there wants to tell me what they want to tell the other person only. It's not about me at all. I'm just the one um, uh, explaining what a cloud and shit looks like. You know, you can't change a cloud. Uh, you just, it's like that, you know. And the memories of others just shed off their body and shit like that. You know, it's just cool and it's visible. And we're all naked, we're all one or whatever, and we're all mad about it. And we're all in a little chamber of mind of insanity psych word of our own realm that we're creating ourselves too with our environment and all that bullshit but and we should share it okay the, but like the light is real and the dark people are real too and doesn't mean that they have to be douchebags about it it's just sad that they're they're void of light and they can't and, and guess what a demon what would you do if he goes i can make you powerful what'd you do bitch i said i'm more yes bitch in the name of god get it because <laughs> you can call upon when you are connected and this light will be Accepted by the supreme light, which is like whoever is a good Samaritan around because not Jesus is always gonna just be there No, -uh, he's not always gonna show up, but you can get him. He's the big supreme uh, Light of unconditional love and it cast away the void of light beings that are around you it just protects itself because it loves you And it's connected to you and we are already you know along all this love or whatever this bullshit light That's all it is. You don't have to be a loving hippie piece of shit loser like me like you could be like <laughs> you could be a douchebag a oh, cold queen and but still be part of the light and be accepted by his supreme like acid filling light like people are like i'm junk love jesus oh yeah <laughs> like it's like that it's just a vibrant vibration of colors in my experience at the time um and his plasma bubbles living but he wanted to come here to save selena with his my freaking girlfriend i never broke up with so mm, you're mad about it <laughs> she's a libra capricorn rising moon cancer but we just lost touch because mm, she moved but her future self told me where she was going to be and everything and how her voice sounded was deep just like her family they like go through a puberty like guys do and then they become like more um lower lower deeper voiced you know what i mean so that's what happened to her and i was so surprising to hear her future self tell me things with that voice and her voice is like oh sticky and like hi bitch who <laughs> well, i'm like with her you know and I got to see her past and everything about her Barbies and how she cut them, how they, she would uh, put them behind the um, curtains in one of her windows. And she had a twin size bed only, but okay, at this time. And wherever her uh, drawer was and stuff that she had were, and all this stuff when she was little. So I got to see the past, present, and future with her. So that's a Libra, Capricorn Rising, Moon and Cancer uh, experience that I could see with or whatever. Mm, that's so cool. She was crying because she could feel the Holy Ghost and stuff, the spirit of Jesus. Like he looked, he had like blue, different colored eyes and stuff, and he looked like Israelite. But his, his right here looked like it was um black, like it was broken, but it looked natural, like it just looked like goats. Capricorn, they want to say, but I think it's Pisces. It's Pisces, I'm just loving bitches. Y'all mad about it? <laughs> and they're all the signs, whatever. And the most forgiving sign, and that's like we shot Jesus, but his Capricorn rising could be like because why he looks like the goat face Capricorn. But I don't know. It could have been somebody else. So who? What would you trust? Even if it made you all this good feelings of this thing that you can never make yourself feel like before, because he's doing it with uh, inside of his bubble with her, your friend feeling the same way. Hell yeah, sober and everything too, bitch. Nobody can make me feel like that. <laughs> so that was awesome. And he just came to save Scalina, <laughs> my <old> girlfriend. <laughs> 
She looks so pretty. She looks like the girl from um, Friends, the Phoebe girl, but with brown yeah. hair. And you're mad about it. <laughs> yeah, she's so cool. But Phoebe's like a Leo. You're mad about it. <laughs> And those also what spirits what did they look like towards you? We had like five minutes on me. Your turn. You said the balls of light like orb. Yeah, I got orb on camera and I'll show you later. And I'm all it's embarrassing. <laughs> what is the third question? Oh yeah, what would you do if a spirit came into your room, waked you up and try to give you this box of take it, take it, take it like a, <laughs> he he was I don't like think he can I would be can. like, Hell no, get the fuck out of my room she is what I said. Up. Thank you. Good answer, Miss Aquarius, higher self, the all know it all. I would probably take something from Satan. Squeeze me? I would probably take something from Satan. Squeeze me, you're joking. But then again, what if he just turned you into the dark and you would be the void of light? You wouldn't be around our friends. You can't be around any of this ever again. That'd be sucky. Bad for you. It would, but I have that urge in me to do Where's your power? Is it bad and you don't even like it? Genie just dissed you. Genie just turned you. What? Wow. Yeah, I mean, you, know. mm -hmm. you don't want to be in danger. You don't be in pollution. That's all it is. It's like gives me headaches and stuff. Like literally, my experience and my friends when they were around, they could feel a headache and all that stuff. And like, and then like, yeah. And one time I did get to see Jesus come and get, and I said, uh, <coughs> I literally, because uh, me and my friend who's a Sagittarius, Virgo rising, Moon and Aries, I was cycling her all the time. She's very readable. It was in bomb dot com in her bubble. <laughs> I just love like being in Mexico around my friends over there and it's so evil over there. Evil There's voodoo. There's so evil. much oh, witchcraft. Just cold so... people. Oh, witchcraft too. They think that that's happening and they're eating. They're so mean and they think they get away with everything because nature's loving and cruel. <laughs> it's different. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know anything about that. I'm not willing. I'm just wanting to connect with you, uh, the sphere and being the messenger for it, because I did it, bitch, y'all mad about it, like, he felt differently, I could still communicate with you from afar, my in my, 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 you what? My God is more stronger. Yeah, yeah. bitch. <laughs> and we can be a part of God, and God, our family, so we're connected to that source to be whatever. No. Cheat, cheat. Oh, mm -hmm. Maybe it, whatever they can offer you in the dark, they can offer you in the light, so take it from the light, yeah. bitch, you know, mad about it, even though, it's like the Charlie and Chocolate Factory. I'm like, no, no, no. So I'm the one, like, not the brat. And everybody else got some kind of, I don't know what happened right. with them. Why are they stuck with those little lights and stuff? Did that chain them to each other as friends and good photos? or And something actually cool and loving that's connecting to where we can always, like, talk to each other, like, from a shell or something? Mm -hmm. And be like, interesting. Because, like, bitch, that thing came through. That's like a portal, and you're all mad about it. And this is so crazy mm -hmm. that he really has spirits around him. And I can connect with them, and I want to get it on camera, but it, 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 my resources at that time wasn't happening. But I did get them on camera before, but like we never had time to do that. But he let me nice enough put my VHS inside his TVs. My VHS don't work no more, but it is the most useful thing I've ever had in my life because of VHS. Okay, I I I I, I fucking film recorded the pet psychic on the animal planet. You're all mad about it. She's Aquarius. Okay, step up, cuss Capcorn actually. And, um, yeah, but, um, so I filmed it and everything and got away from a cigarette as good as I could because, fuck, man, it was everywhere. <laughs> yeah. But it was what my, str I struggled and I got to do it. And I did it. And then he was outside with my motherfucking bird that he gave to me from his grandma because they were cool with it. My ex girlfriend said, yes, it was better off with you because, yes, it was. Bitch. I could tell if I talk it to it. Yeah. But it told me that he cut my fucking bird's wings, bitch. And I told him, no, I want him to be flying around. I'm going to tie kite string to this bitch. And we're going to be walking. And we, we did. <laughs> and I put it on my back and everything. It was my shoulder. Everywhere I went, everyone was mad about it. <laughs> that's cute. It was, but I could talk to it psychically because that's what it told me. Yeah. First, it told me, it told me before. Like, it told me that it it was always by the, the, the mirror because I got to keep the cage, the cage that she it had with oh. her friend. The, the bird had her friend that was a boy, and she was a girl, in my visions, and I was right. I don't even know the sex of this shit, <laughs> but that's cool. I don't know. But um, she told me that she she never got a chance to go by the mirror because the, she let the other man, the man take that mirror, and she never got around to it. Now she does, and she loved it. And then, like, I let her go anywhere in my house. We would throw her back and forth, all kinds of fun, interactive human <laughs> noise okay, stuff. And, it would, and I would let it be in my room and everything, so I would just feel psychic around her, listening to her. And and 
everything just was just so like it's so interesting, like so supernatural. Yeah. But but my yeah. I most likely think that's an interesting thing too to observe that that could if be animals don't like it, yeah, yeah. If anything, but yeah. But not all my animals are readable. Right. But my other last her name was Tracy, she was readable and she was an Aries. Scorpio rising, Moon Aquarius is the most intuitive animals I've ever talked to, bitch, y'all mad about. The first animal I got to talk to that told me their astrology sign was an Aquarius dog. I got a big story, so I don't need to talk about it.